we have spent the night in Kalgoorlie Caravan Park. Um, gave us a chance to go and do a bit of shopping, restock on the food, restock our water supplies, get some fuel. Did a brothel tour, went to a skimpy bar. <laughs> Today, we are going to head down towards Esperance and then maybe head east. It may be towards Israelite Bay, we'll check the weather. We kind of don't really make plans too solidly. Yeah. Check the weather when we get there. If it's, if it's warm enough, we'll go east and go to Israelite Bay. Maybe try and find a camp on the beach. Got into Esperance late yesterday afternoon. It was pretty busy there and we knew we wouldn't be able to camp around there because it's just so busy. So we headed east and pulled in at Condinga. And then this morning we um, we just came 25 k's down the road to the coast to um, Orleans Bay. What a beauty of a spot. The water's really calm. I guess and we're pretty well protected from those islands behind us over here. It's not an island, that's actually part of the land that goes around there. Table. Oh, yeah, this one here we think is called Table Rock or Table Island. We might walk along, we'll see if we can get across there. So this is the camp we set up. We found this nice little uh, sneaky side camp off the beach. We just watched the sunset. We had to improvise a little bit with the uh, tarps to get a little bit of um, shelter from the wind. It's been super windy today. 
We just found this little walking trail here. How beautiful is that? Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Sound right, boy. We got him. <laughs> yes. Did you get that? Yeah. <laughs> like seized so on. Right, oh, no, so we are still at Membanut Beach. We just walked down the beach. I think we walked a couple of k's. We found this little spot in the uh, sand dune, which we're going to head down to. It's right on the beach, so at the moment we're a little bit off the beach. That's where we were. So we're going to head back there and jump up in the sand dune and spend tonight there, and we could uh, sit down on the beach and have a couple of beers. Right, boy. Right, just gonna go down for a swim. Try and rinse off some of this sun cream. Moved to our new little position on the beach in the sand dunes. Haven't had dinner yet, but we're just chilling out on top of the dune, just watching the sunset. There's a bit of cloud around. It's actually pretty cool because the sun keeps going in and out of the cloud, so you keep getting these beautiful sort of patterns in the sky. At the moment, yeah, we're sat on top of the dune, just relaxing, watching the ocean, watching the sun. So, we're cooking dinner. We got potatoes boiling and then we're going to fry them up. And then we got a tin of Heinz chili beans hot. So we'll chuck those in the pot, heat them up. Um, and cheese. Oh, we got some cheese as well. <laughs> it's a bit rough. That's all we got. We decided to stay here an extra night or two. So we've run out of supplies. We had all the steak a couple of nights ago. It's all good. Bit later than what we normally cook. It's about eight, quarter past eight. Hey, look, we don't have work tomorrow, so who cares? <laughs>
slithering off into the bush. Yesterday we left Membanup Beach and then we've driven for about 40 minutes. Yeah. For about 40 minutes and we stayed at Craggy Beach. We didn't do any filming yesterday because we were both a little bit tired and we've had a few big days so just chilled out yesterday pretty much. Got a good night's sleep last night. I reckon both got 11 hours. This morning we're just leaving uh, Craggy Beach and heading uh, back east towards Albany and we're going to make our way to the Stirling Ranges where we are planning to climb Bluff Knoll. That's a lot of steps to climb. 2.1 k's to the summit. We've already done half a k. Over halfway. I'm cooked. It's not that bad actually. It's hot, but very uh, steep, and the view's incredible. Hundred meters to go. And then, 3Ks back to the car park. Alrighty, heading back down now. Three kilometers back down to the car. Actually pretty chilly up there. Pretty sure that we might have picked one of the busiest days of the year to do this climb. I mean, it's probably perfect conditions. It's a nice sunny day. It's only 11 o'clock at present, so it's not as hot as it's going to get. But there's so many people here, the car park's pretty full. And at the summit, there was about, I mean, there's probably about 20 people up the top already. But it's just a constant flow of people up and down. I guess being everyone's on Christmas holidays, we're out doing the walks. Back on the bitumen. <laughs> Feels a bit more normal to walk on this now. Yeah. We've got about 300 metres to the car. Maybe not even that, maybe 200. Oh, look at the slope though. And we've got another hill to climb. <laughs> This one should be easy. It is black now. <laughs> <laughs> 